There we go, side to side, step, touch right, left, right, left. Here we go. Last four, three, two. Now flex, flex that foot, pull it back. Let that opposite hand reach up in front to shoulder height as we pull that heel backward. Good, breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, step tap. Tap that toe down, side to side. Again, heel back, arm forward. I want you to feel that work through your core, through that waistline. As you breathe out, lift that pelvic floor, close the ribs, stopping the body from twisting, right? So that you don't follow that dumbbell. Good, four, three, two, back to those toe taps, side to side, arms nice and heavy. Good, now keeping everything parallel, knees and toes to the front, I want you to lunge, bend the right knee, bend the left. Stick that bum out, right? Let's try our best to keep the knees over the center of our feet as we're going from side to side. Four, three, two more. One more, good, take it to the right, let's stay down. Now let's see if we can go deeper, push your bum down and back, stand up. Same side, down that right leg, and up, down and back. Let's let that chest sink forward as our bum pulls backward, chest up tall, bum underneath. Down, lift, down, squeeze that right bum cheek. Good, two, one more. Take it back down and shift into that left leg so you're nice and low, bum backward, weight in that left heel, and stand tall. Down we go, and lift, and lower. Go up, and up, and four, three, and two, one more. Wonderful, bring it down, let's come center, stretching the hamstrings, so drop your hands and your head, lift your bum, find a stretch in the back of the legs, bend the knees, stretch, down, and up for four, three, two, one more. Good, soften the knees, roll it up to standing. We're gonna turn to our right side. So right leg is in front, left leg is back. Let's find a calf stretch. So both feet are nice and flat, hips are squared up. And we're just gonna take this into a bow. So inhale forward, exhale to lift. Inhale, breathe out. Inhale. And up. Good. Five. And four. And three. And two. One more time. Good. Take it forward. Now let's take it into a row. Your hands are down. Pull those elbows high and lower. Exhale. Lift and down. I want you to lift that belly away from your right thigh. Keeping that right knee bent, knee over your ankle. Squeeze those elbows to the ceiling. Lift, lift, four, three, two, one. Good, from here, stand nice and tall. Good, we're gonna take that back foot a little bit farther back, up on your toes, hands to your hips, into your split squat. Straight down, straight up, down, exhale, lift. Inhale, breathe out. Press through that right heel. Try to keep your hips squared up to your front wall. Five, four, and three, two. One more time. Good, from here, let's take it down, let's split squat. For our balance, take that left knee up. Take it back into that split squat. So our hands can come up to the front of our chest, down to our sides. Lift. And inhale, exhale up. I don't want you to rush, I want you to breathe. I want you to find your balance. Listen to your knee joints. Down and up. Four. 
And three. Good. Two. One more time. Good. Take it back. Split squat. Now lean forward. Lift your bum. Stretch that right leg. Now let's push all that weight up onto the right foot. Arms and legs. Lift behind. Lower. Lift. Good. Let's lift and hold. Flex that left foot. Stretch to the back of that left knee. And turn that thigh in. Feel that thigh turning towards center. Lower and lift. Breathe. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more time. Up. Good. Whew. Shake it up. Shake it up. Changing to the other side. So I'm just going to turn around. Both feet flat. Right leg is back. Left leg is in front. Hands at your side. Chest open. Bend that front knee. Take it for your bow. Over. And exhale. Up. Good. Inhale. Lift. Inhale. And up. Good. Think about that left heel, left glute. Helping you come back up. Six. Four, three, two, last one. And then we're gonna take it once again, back forth. Flat spine over top of the left thigh. Turn your palms to the back foot and take those elbows wide. So if I turn to the front, arms go wide. Lift. Good, hips are still square. Feet are still flat. Squeeze the shoulder blades and then try to hold them together as you let those hands lengthen back down to the floor. Lift that belly away from the thigh. Five, four, three, and two. One more time. Lovely from here. Lift that body up. And we're gonna, we're gonna take that right leg back a little farther up on your toes. Split squat, down and up, down. And lift. Go ahead and use that exhale to come up. Inhale, breathe. Four more. And three. And two. Now take it down, hold. We're going to take that right knee up into the chest for our balance. And then take it back to the split squat. Down. Lift. And down. And up. You got it, you can do it. Down and up. Anyone else not work out since Wednesday like me? This is a long weekend. You gotta work it out today. Get that body once again moving, feeling good in our skin. Four more. Three. One more. Take it back to that split squat down. We shift our weight forward. Lift your bum high. Arms and right foot. Lift them up. Down. And up. Take it up. Hold. Flex that right foot. Lengthen through the back of that knee. Turn that thigh into your left. Lower and lift. Down and up. You got it. Breathe. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, last one, and up. Go ahead, shake it out. Shake out your bum. Lovely. I want to work a little balance today because we're going to put the band on for our legs some more. But let's stand tall. Balance on your right foot. So you just take your left foot to your ankle. Take those arms out to your side. And back. In. Exhale, lift. Lateral raise. Focus on the length of the collarbone. Right out through your triceps. Out through the elbow joint, your wrist. Four. Three. Two. One. Change the feet. 
Take that right foot up, squeeze it into your left ankle, arms to the front, palms down. Go to breathe. Four. Three more. Two. One more time. Good, change it back. Onto that right foot. If you want to take the left leg a little higher, squeeze the foot to the knee. Otherwise, hold it where you were. Arms up, turn the palms to the sky, bicep curl into your ears, and open. Keep the upper arm nice and high. Breathe out. All right, as we breathe out, tighten into that waistline. Pull into that pelvic floor. And five. And four. Three. Two, one, beautiful, bring those arms down, changing legs. Again, you can take the right foot to the ankle, or up to the knee, hands in front, palms up, eyes up, curl again to your ears. Good, breathing, watch that hip isn't hiking, right? Pull your sit bones down to the floor. Four more, three more. Two, one more. Good, bring it down. Shake it out. Lovely, good. Let's put the dumbbells down for a moment. Grab your, your band. And let's take that on above our thigh, or onto our thighs above our knees. And grab a quick drink of water if you need it. I will sit so back, keep talking. <laughs> All right, so we got the band on above our knees. Bring it back, hip distance apart. I'm just gonna go low sideways here. Take a squat down and exhale lift. Inhale and lift. Now I want you to think of the arches of your feet. So feel the root of your big toe pressing into the floor. Feel the outside of your heel pressing into the floor. So you start to feel those arches lifting, a little bit of a dome in the foot. Down on that inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Go up, down, lift. So you got two left. Last one, take down, hold. So we're gonna hold it. Now our weight is gonna shift slightly forward. Up onto your toes, back, flat feet. Up onto the toes, flat feet. Good. Lengthen through that low back. Pull that belly in for me. Right, don't be here and don't be here. Let's lengthen that spine. Pull those hip bones to the back wall, to the bottom of the baseboard behind you. Two. One more. Flat feet, stand up. Good, inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Out. Four. Three. And two. One more. Good, now we're gonna make this a wide squat. So I want you to step to the right, take a squat. Come up and in, left leg out, down, in. Right. Exhale to lift. And over, back up. Keep that tension on the band. Watch that your knees don't collapse in. Right, keep that resistance, even as your legs pull together. Pull it in. And down, lift. Good, take it back with the right foot. Stay nice and wide. Squat down and up. Again, find that arch in your foot lifting. Feel your bum pushing backward, keeping that chest high. Three. Good, two more. One more. Lovely, from here, lean into the right. Take that left leg behind you to the side. Behind, side, behind, behind. Good, keep those hips squared up. Right, so we're not twisting, right? We're staying nice and centered so we're not torquing out that right knee. Four. Two, hold it back. Good, up and up. Reach for that back corner. Focus from that lift from the bottom. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Bring it back in. Nice wide legs back to our squat in that wide position down. Lift. And down. Go at six. Find the arches. Feel that exhale tightening. Three. And two. One more. Good. Lean everything into that left. Right foot. Back. Side. Keep reaching for that back corner. Four, three, two, hold it back, take it high, up, up, step forward, eight, seven, you can do it, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it back, and four more squats, that's it, down, up, three, Two, last one, we take it down, we hold it low. Stay low, weight in the heels, chest is lifted, knees open, open. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, pull into that low belly. Two, one, hold, hold it open. Big toes are still grounded, knees are pushing open. Little pulses bump, down up, down up. Just an inch, you got it. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and up. Ooh. Nice work. We're gonna take it down onto all fours. We're gonna keep the band. I'm gonna tilt my camera so you can see the floor a little more. So let's think four point kneeling. Let's bring one dumbbell with us. So we have it nearby, okay? We're gonna start with the glutes. So take your band and put it below your knee on that left foot. So below the knee on the left. Both hands on the floor. The band is around my thigh on my right. So we're gonna work the right leg for now. So hands under the shoulders. Take it with your bum. Pull that sit bone backwards. And when you're ready, lift your belly. Lift your leg. Down and up. Good, if you wanna flex that foot, I'll take a flex foot today. Want to feel that squeeze at your bum. And lift. I want to feel the work in your abs. Both arms strong, pushing away from your mat. Four. And three. Good, two more. Take it up, hold, nice and high. Hold it, hold it. Pulses up and up. Good, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, bring it back down. Take a moment. Take a little moment. We're gonna stick with that right leg. It means that left glute is still gonna be sore because it's helping stabilize you. Bring it back up. Abduction, take the right leg out to the side. So take an inhale and exhale, brush it out and bring it in. Exhale to lift it and bring it in. You got it. Good, let's go for five. Keep the head up, don't let it fall, right? Let's keep the neck connected to the rest of your spine. Pushing the chin back in towards your throat. Last two for the leg, last one. Good, take a rest. Let's fix the band so we're doing the other side. So untwist it if it started to roll. It's gonna go below your right knee, but above your left knee now. Again, I'm just gonna turn sides so my left leg is more visible. Four point kneeling, hands under the shoulders, tailbone roll back. Take a nice inhale, and exhale, float to the belly, close the ribs, left leg high, and down. Again, I like to flex my foot today. You can really feel that heel pushing up, the contraction in my hamstring and in my glute. Lift. Okay, don't forget, you gotta tighten your transverse abdominal muscles, that little guide wire between your left and right hip. Tighten it, 
breathe out and then move to the left. Lift. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Little pulses at the top. Pulse it higher. 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 Try not to let it drop. Keep it up there. Push away from the ground. Retract that chin towards your throat. For four, three, two, one. Break it down to the little mini break. You just do a little wrist circle. All right, loosen up the hands a little bit. We're gonna come back up for abduction. So coming back, left leg is gonna go to the side. So take a breath in. Exhale, waistline, leg. Exhale, pelvic floor, leg. Good. Keep it going. Eight. Where's your head at? Check in. Don't let it fall. Good. Four more. Three. Two. One more. And down. Well, let's take the band off. So let's start with that right arm. So grab your dumbbell for your right hand. Back up on all fours. We're just gonna take the left leg extended back. So the toes are on the ground, okay? Hips are still square, both hands are helping push you away. And then we're gonna take that right hand, pull that elbow up. We're gonna do a tricep extension. Keep weight in the left toes and that right shin. Extend the arm, return. Breathe out, breathe up. Really focus on that pelvic floor lifting, arms extending. Lift, good, 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 reach. Five, four, three, two, hold it out nice and straight. We're gonna lower to the middle of our thigh, back up above our bum, lower, lift, lower, Lift, shoulders are rolled back, right? You think of your shoulder blades, your scapula sliding down your spine, toward your hips, toward your bum cheeks. Good, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, changing sides. Extend that right leg back, hips squared. Good, pull into that belly, left elbow high, triceps, extend, return. Breathe out. Good. What's those abdominals doing? What are your ribs doing? Let's feel the pull in, knit together before you extend that elbow. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Straight arm. Lower the middle of the thigh. Back up. Down and up. Up. You got it. Eight, seven, six, five, three, you do it, two, one more, down, rest. Wonderful, we're gonna give the hands a little break, we're gonna come onto our back. Let's keep those dumbbells actually on either side of our mat, and grab your squishy ball. So let's start in a bridge, so on your back, ball between your knees. All right, laying on that back, ball between those inner thighs. Good, let's have those heels in line with the sit bones again. They don't have to be super close, but the farther away you are, the harder it is. I wanna make sure those feet are nice and flat. Big toes down, heels down. And we'll start with the hands on the floor. So let's feel that tension, squeeze the ball. Take a nice big inhale, and exhale, pull into the pelvic floor. Zip up your jeans, close your ribs, tilt your pelvis, and peel yourself up. Nice big breath in. And exhale, pull into that pelvic floor. Roll it down, rib cage, 
waistline, feel your hips, your sit bones reaching for your feet. Pull for the bottom of your mat. Again, exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage, tilt the pelvis, peel yourself up. Inhale. And exhale. Rolling it all the way back. Good. Two more times. Exhale. Feeling the lift. Inhale, high. And exhale. Good. I like it. Let's just take your hands to the ceiling, palms facing in. Same exercise. Exhale. Pelvic floor waistline. Tilt the pelvis. Peeling that bottom of the spine up. And exhale. Rolling it all the way back and down. Drop your sit bones. Make sure they're heavy. Try not to change your head. Right? So keep that nose on the ceiling. Peel your bum up. Keep your nose on the ceiling. Yeah. And then roll it back down. Lengthen the spine, reaching for your feet. All right, so your head doesn't need to move here. Last time, exhale. Feel the pelvis, peel yourself up. Squeeze that ball. And roll it back down. Good, very nice. Stretch your arms straight back behind you. Get a nice big stretch through the ribs, the armpits. And let's just exhale, close your ribs back to the floor. Soften the rib cage. Turn them down. Do your best to keep your arms where they are. Good. Take it back to a bridge. Another breath. Hold to that pelvic floor. Keep those ribs closed. Now tilt the pelvis. And peel your bum all the way back up to the sky. Let's stay there. Squeeze the ball in, 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 in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the ball. Keep your bum high. Only thing moving is my legs in and out. So my hips are staying high. My chest is staying closed. My arms are stretching behind me. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the squeeze. Roll it down. Do your best. Keep your arms where they are. Roll it down. Lengthen the spine. Work through that low back. And down. Nice work. Hands up. Good. Grab the ball. Let's place it underneath our pelvis. We're going to start with a little stretch here. So bum on top of the ball. Pull the right leg toward the chest. Slide the left leg out. Keep it connected to the ground. Heel pushing into the floor. And we're just going to take a nice big breath in. And as we exhale, push that left heel down. Squeeze your left bum cheek. Actively lengthening that left leg. Relax. See if the left leg goes a little longer. And same thing. Exhale. Pressing through the heel, the back of the leg. Squeeze your left bum cheek. Push, push, push. And rest. So we'll do one more, and exhale, push. Squeeze your bum, push through that heel. And rest, see if the left leg goes longer. Good, and we'll slowly bring the right foot down. Just put that knee, the foot on the floor, and we'll pull the left leg in. So that's finding your balance. Slide the right leg out as far as it will go. Take your inhale, and exhale. Squeeze your right butt, push down through that right heel. Good, and rest, see if the right leg goes a little longer. And again, same thing, squeeze your right bum, push through the heel. Okay, so just a little stretch, and a little hit of a hip opener here. Relax. Now one more time, push, push, push. And rest. Lovely, good, we're putting the left foot down. Let's make sure that ball is in a comfortable position. And if we're going to use our dumbbells, let's grab a hold of them. And we'll bring those legs up to tabletop. So again, knees over the pelvis, over that ball. Watch the feet. Let's hide them behind our kneecaps so they're parallel to the ground. And we'll reach the hands to the sky. Again, always an option to bend those elbows to bring the upper arm to the floor. Or to just leave the hands on the floor. Okay, everything here is an option. Start with that toe touch. So you're going to take a big breath in. Exhale, pelvic floor. Waistline, rib cage, left foot down. Back up. And again, exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage, right foot. So alternating legs. Exhale. I really want to feel those internal zippers pulling up. Good. Exhale. 
Think about your kneecap, your thigh bone pulling away and as long as they can, reaching forward. Not my toe, not my shin, my kneecap. Right, so it's my thigh that's pulling away from my chest. Two. One more. Good, changing the legs to a single leg stretch. Exhale, lift that pelvic floor waistline, rib cage, left leg stretches, bring it in. Now I don't want you to drop it, I just want you to extend through the knee joint. Right, so both my toes are reaching for the middle of the wall in front of me. Good, exhale. Good, and breathe. Really feel that waistline to G in first. Two. One more time. Good, from there. Straight legs to the step. Check in, make sure your sit bones are still pointing forward and down over the ball. So it's gonna bring those feet a little bit farther away from you. From here, this is a skull pressure or a tricep exercise. You're gonna bend your elbows, hands down beside your temples. Push those hands back up. As we go, we're keeping the tailbone nice and long. So the lower back is lifted away from the ground. Obviously our bum is elevated, right? So rib cage on the floor, bum on the ball. Feel your ribs cinching in. Focus on the back of your upper arms here. Feel that little squeeze at the top. Four more. Three. Two. One more. Good, take it up. Hands stay high, palms forward. Legs back to table. This is a double leg stretch. You're gonna inhale. We're gonna exhale, push those legs forward. And bring them back. So again, feel that waistline pulling. We're gonna up, zip up your jeans, close your ribs. Good, one more. We're gonna add in some arm work if we like. So tabletop, take your arms wide. For a chest press, exhale, lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. One more. Hold it up. We're going to get ready for those legs. So take a breath in. Exhale, push the legs forward. Bring the legs, bend the arms. Exhale, push. And in. And exhale. Good. Eight. Seven. Waistline. Ribs. Tailbone stays heavy. Check in with it. Is it pointing at the ceiling? I hope not. Let's keep that bum reaching over the ball to the bottom of your mat. Last two. Last one, we're gonna press it, we're gonna stay. So if this is in your back or in your thighs, lift your legs a little bit higher, make sure it's in your belly. And we're gonna take those legs wide, right on top, open, left on top. And right, left, right, Left, inner thighs, pelvic floor, low abs. Good, breathe. Four, three, two, one. Legs together and in. Hug them in, take a little breather. Good. Making the adjustments like all is losing its position, so I'm gonna readjust it. We're gonna stay up there for a little bit more. Legs back to table, hands back to the ceiling. This is apply. Open the arms out nice and wide to the left and right, and then exhale, close to the sky. Good, we're gonna open, we're gonna close. Now, let's exhale, left leg forward. Hold on to that, inhale, open those arms. Keep the legs still, but exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage, arms up. Inhale, and exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage, arms. So what did I say? If it's in your back, if it's in your quadricep, lift your leg a little higher. Feel that pubic bone really trying to zip up towards your ribs. One more. Leg in. We're gonna change sides. Extend that right leg. Good, inhale, arms open. And exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage, squeeze your arms. And open. And exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage. And exhale, lift. Good. And four. Really focusing on that breath, that pelvic floor, that waistline cinching. Last one. 
So that's all I can give him a little hug. Nice work. Let's bring it back down. Awesome. Let's take the ball out. Get yourself a little breather. Take your feet as wide as your mat. And let's just do windshield wipers. Legs to the left and the right. The left and the right. Good. Two more. Good. Back to center. Let's roll all the way over. And let's come back up onto all fours. We're gonna work some lower abdominals here in our knee hover. So, hands under the shoulders, curl those toes under. Hip bones pulled back, chest pulled forward. Take an inhale. And exhale, lift that pelvic floor. Soften the ribs, lift your knees that inch. Every drop of air out, inhale, come back, inhale. Breathe into that belly, now exhale, lift that belly. Lift the knees. And down. Let's sit with those arms pulling back toward our thighs. Exhale. Engaging through the armpits. Inhale. And exhale, lifting. Good, one more time. Exhale, lift, hold. Let's stay there. Stay up. Inhale, breathe wide. And exhale, breathe out. Feel that low belly zipping inward. Hollow it out. Feel it pulling in toward your spine. Stay there as you breathe. Good, one more big breath. And lower the knees. Take a breather, take it back. Little child's pose here. Good, we're gonna take this into a full plank. And then eventually we'll add some rotation, but not this first one. So arms stretch out nice and long, pull yourself up. Let's take one leg back. Again, think of that low belly and really trying to pull up away from the ground. So inhale, exhale, lift your belly, both legs back, chest forward, shoulders, armpits engaged, hold on to those golf balls. Downward dog to start. Inhale, lift your bum high. Good, and then exhale, close those ribs. Come forward, back to your plank. Good, inhale, can we keep the ribs closed? Keep those ribs knitting together, sit bones nice and high. Exhale, back into the plank. Good, again, lift. And forward. Good, one last time. Think of your sternum, your collarbone, really trying to pull forward, shine forward, past your wrists, past your fingertips. Now we're gonna rotate onto the left side, lifting the right hand. Come back into plank on all fours. Rotate to the other side. So I rotate my heels down. So I'm on the sides of my feet, left hand high. Bring it down. Take your time. To the left, right hand up. And center. And over. Lift. Good. Four. And Three. And two. Last time, now come back to center and stay there. I want you to stay in a full plank, but we're gonna get off of our hands. So drop your left elbow down and your right elbow and stay there. Pull that chest forward again for me so your bum's not too high. Don't sag in that bum. Low back is long, tailbone is pulled back for your ankles. For five, four, feel that low belly lifting. Three, two, one, and rest. Child pose. Give the shoulders a break. Wiggle your fingers like you're playing the keyboard, the piano. All right, Just make a fist, open your fingers. Good. Let's come up. Modified plank, so up onto your left forearm, on our left hip. So for now, I want you to keep your hip on the ground. So forearm down, let's get it underneath that shoulder. And roll that shoulder back. So good, rib cage lifted. Cubic bone, close those ribs, right? So not flaring, close them in. Just a clam 
yourself from here. Exhale to open that right leg and close. Open. Good. I'm putting my hand on my pelvis to make sure that I'm not changing my pelvis position. It's my leg rotating in the hip socket. Okay. Five more. And three. Two. Last one. Good. Your feet are tucked behind you. So take it up into that modified plank. Lift those hips. Okay, let's make those adjustments we need to. I need to just make sure my hand's a little closer to my thighs. Good. Now from here, flex your right foot, lift that knee, that leg up, and bring it down. Lift it eight, seven, six. Make sure your ankle is lifting just as high as your knee. Four, three, two, hold it up. So two options, you keep the leg up high, or you bring your legs back together. But we're gonna lower and lift those hips. Down and up. Good, so it's more challenging if you keep that leg nice and high. Pull slightly backwards here. Lengthening to the front of that hip flexor and thigh. Four more. Three. Two. One more. And rest. Come on up off your arm. Good, shoulder roll. Sit in a comfortable position. And just release those shoulders for me. Four, three, two, one. Good. Other side. So onto the right forearm. And we start with the hips staying on the ground. Good. So again, don't tuck the feet super close yet. Keep them just a little bit longer. Hips are pulling out. That's going to help lift those ribs. At the same time, you roll your shoulder back. Good, from here, take your breath. Exhale, close the ribs, and then open the knee. Good. Your head should be free to move. You can look forward, you can look down, if that helps. All right, you can wiggle out the upper arm, get that shoulder to release a little bit. Good, breathe. Bring it down, we're gonna go up into that side plank. So tuck those feet a little bit closer and lift your hips. Good, holding it here, left foot is flexed. And exhale, lift the leg and lower. Again, pull that foot a little bit more for that back wall. So again, we're keeping yourself open and stretched to the front of that thigh. Good, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, pull it up. And again, we're gonna keep it up as we did on the other side. Lower the hips, back up, down, up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, legs together, bring it down, and again, sit up, comfortable position, shoulder rolls. Little release, let it go. Four, three, two, and let's take it down onto our stomach, onto our belly. Do some back extension work here. So, what I'd like to do is have your hand slide on the floor. Okay, if you need a little assistance, you can always put your hands on a tea towel, or if you're on carpet, maybe a Tupperware lid, okay? So it slides or a paper plate. That's a little bit. So from here, I want you to take your arms out as wide as your mat into that nice V. And we're gonna let the body lengthen and come down. Legs pulled directly behind you, kneecaps looking down, squeezing those inner thighs as close together. Bring the legs as close in as you can. We're gonna take a nice big breath in, and as we exhale, tuck the tail. Roll your shoulders back in, and pull your chest up. Let those hands slide in, and then take it back down. Again, tuck your tail, 
Roll your shoulders, pull your chest forward. Find a little more length now. There it is, the front of the body reaches to the wall in front of you. And exhale. Reach forward, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward. And exhale. So really, you're just letting those arms be nice and light on the floor. And you're focusing on your armpits, your shoulder blades, engaging the chest, reaching for your head, your eyes moving forward and down. Good, last time, all the way up, exhale, tuck the tail, length, and then lift. Now come down about halfway, just a little bit longer through the spine, keep that tail tucked. And we're gonna take our arms up off the floor, so exhale, lift them. Good. Now bend the elbows, pull them to your waistline. And then and reach them forward. Exhale. Focus on the squeeze. Right? Think of squeezing that golf ball. Pulling those elbows to the waist, to your ribs. Keep closing your rib cage in. Right? The front of the ribs knitting together. Breathe out. And four. And three. Two. One more time. Awesome. Reach it forward and down. Take a little breather. Good. Basic back extension. Pretty well everything is exactly how it was. But now those hands are going to go back behind you. Palms turning. And again, let's really stretch out through those elbow joints. And then squeeze the hands in toward the body. So take an inhale. And again, tuck the tail, pubic bone anchor, waistline pulling in, chest pulling forward, eyes pulling forward, hands pulling backward and down. So feel that work right in the middle of the shoulder blades. And exhale, squeeze those arms in, slide them down toward your ankles and roll. And exhale, waistline, pelvic floor, rib cage and down. Four. Three, two more, one more time, exhale, lift, hold, so hold it, hold it, hold it, keep tucking the pelvis, anchor the pubic bone down, keep trying to close those ribs in and find length, so I want that lower back wall, I want that spine extending forward, arms squeezing, take your arms and pulse them higher, higher, lift, lift, Lift all to the tricep. Nice big opening stretch to the collarbone. Stability for the upper back sensors as we hold the body still. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. And down, everything down, rest. Nice. Bring those hands forward. We're gonna take this into our legs to so stack one hand on top of the other. Start with a little flutter kick, so tuck the tail. Pull into the belly and reach the legs so they hover up. Good, little flutter kicks, right, left, right, left. Inhale and exhale. So about four kicks for an inhale, four kicks for an exhale. Nice, calm, smooth breath. Feel that squeeze in your bum cheeks, right? Your underwear line or the crease of your leggings, your shorts. Feel your thighs, your kneecaps trying to stay up and off the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, you can do it. One, hold it there, let's squeeze those legs to center. Go higher, both up, both down. Exhale, lift, lower. Pull those shoulders away, long necks. Tucking the tail, closing those ribs. Eight, you can do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, and down, rest. Ooh, let's shake it up, take your legs a little wider, bend those knees, let them move right to left. A little release here. Last exercise before we stretch it, we're gonna take it back to a plank. We're gonna to try to take our hands up off the ground. You may take 
legs off the ground, obviously not all at the same time, we can't cover the floor. So let's bring yourself up, find your hands and knees first, and then find your hands. You're gonna take one leg back and the other leg back. Legs can go a little bit wider in this position, in this plank. Good. So from here, we're gonna do a little row. So exhale, pull your belly in, left elbow high. Down, right elbow high. Down, so think rowing. And pull your hand to your ribs. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. One more. Good, downward dog, lift your bum high. Good, just take a moment here. Let your chest sink down between your arms. And then check in with your ribs. Naturally, they're gonna flare, they're gonna open up. Mine are very wide right now. So I'm just gonna take a couple breaths and focus on those ribs closing in. As they close in, my shoulders are gonna pull away from my ears a little bit more. I'm gonna find a little more engagement in my armpit, in my shoulder girdle. Good. Let's pull it back into your plank exhale. Good, we lifted the arms, let's lift those feet now. So exhale, lift the left leg and the right leg. Go ahead, breathe out. Focus on that low belly, really dipping upward and in. And four, three, two, one more. Good, lower the knees. Good, let's take this into a lunge. Let's stretch these legs out. So let's bring the left leg in front. Good, right leg comfortably. Long pad at the knee if you need to. Let's just let those hips sink forward for a moment. Good, take some nice big deep breaths here. We're trying to open up that hip socket. Good, let's come back up. Balancing here, hands on the thigh, spine nice and tall, vertical to the floor. Let's focus a little bit more, more on our quadriceps. So take that breath in, and as we exhale, draw into that pelvic floor. Lift the belly, close the ribs. Squeeze your right bum cheek, try to push it forward. Inhale, relax. And again, exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage, tuck the tail, push that right bum cheek forward. And relax. And one more time. Exhale. Pull into the pelvic floor. Close those ribs. Squeeze your right bum cheek. And rest. Good. A little push back to that hamstring. Use your hands on either side. You can also hold those dumbbells. Prop yourself up. Right? If you're near your couch or a wall, hold yourself. Pulling that left sit bone nice and high. Finding the length in the back of that knee. Go forward. Three, two, and one. And let's change it, let's change legs. Do it, right leg in front. And again, just holding it in front, letting that, that hip socket release. Right, breathing here to find length in the spine. Even though we're a little bit more relaxed in this position for now. Take a nice big breath and breathe out. And then we'll bring your hands up to the thigh, coming into balancing nice and tall and take that focus to the pelvic floor breath and the quadriceps, so inhale. Exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage, squeeze that left bum cheek. Think of trying to tuck that pelvis under. Inhale. And again, exhale, pelvic floor, lifting ribs, closing, squeeze that, that glute and breathe. And one more exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage. And relax, beautiful hands down. Let's take it back for that hamstring. Think of your right sit bone pulling backward, nice and high up the wall behind you. With four and three and two 
and one beautiful let's release it let's find that downward dog so we can come up to standing so once again downward dog both feet reach those heels down to the floor soften those ribs and then walk your hands back to your feet take a moment hang upside down let's make sure those feet are hip distance apart so that's the size of your fist between your feet between your ankles take an inhale head is relaxed exhale scoop through the belly drop the tailbone Stack the spine, lift the chest, stand nice and tall and inhale, reach for the sky and out. Awesome, shake out your arms, shake out your legs, give yourself a little wiggle. And you're all done for today.